Hello, 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 and welcome back to my channel. So today, this video is sponsored by Timu. So let's give Timu a big shout out and say, hey, 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 hey. Now, if you're interested in what I've got to show you for today's video, we are going to be talking about storage. All of Timu finds for perfect storage. So all you need to do in order to watch this video is sit down, relax, enjoy, and let's get started. So Timu offers free shipping and free returns up to 90 days. Now that's a long time so that you can ensure that you make full use of all the items that I'm going to show with you today. So as I said, all my picks are in the description box down below. You can download the app so that you can show you get all of these fantastic savings. I'm going to put my coupon code here for you so that you can see all of the value and get your discount that you are well deserving to find. Okay, so let's take a look at all these fantastic storage items that I have selected to share with you. I'm going to show you around my home where I've actually used them so you can see how easy it is to implement using those storage systems. So let's get started. So my first storage item is a storage bucket and uh, that's the name of it there. So I'm going to put pictures for you so you can see what it looks like. But I want to fit this underneath my sewing table so that I have room to store items. So I'm going to put this together and show you exactly how I will use this. I think it's really, really effective. All right, so I have three, a three tier storage collapsible. I'm going to be using this to store fabrics in. I haven't measured it whether or not it fits underneath my sewing table, but it should hopefully so it's quite easy to put together actually it comes flat and so all you need to do is fit it into the grooves and it clips in so let me just take it apart like you see it, it comes collapsible like so that's the way it comes and you open it all up lift it in click it in and this it it literally just sits in there nice and easy the front comes up and this obviously is a tray one okay let's check in and it's all clicked in at the back at the grooves there this is i think this one here is the actual top so you need to decide which one i think this one is the top because it comes with the top base and top and it sits on top of each other so what i'm going to do is just adding the legs which I started doing and I thought let me show you how to do this so you get your little inserts plus your legs here and all I'm going to do is insert it in and it tells you in a way really which grooves it goes in because you're using the alignment of that groove there to the groove there I had to sort of play around with it. So notice how I, I thought that was the wrong one. So each one comes with its own groove and it just goes in and you stick your legs in just like so. so I decided was to build it realizing it's quite tall it wouldn't fit underneath my table so I'd have to go in a corner somewhere so that's what it looks like it's on the wheels it spins round it hooks in there and there obviously you can move it um, on individually but I think I will wheel it down <laughs> she says so uh, this is pretty handy actually I just like the fact yeah, I think it's basically suitable definitely suitable for a sewing room all right let me take it down fill it up and show you what it looks like all right so one of the other items I picked up was this home tray here and I thought this would be ideal to hold my small little snipper scissors 
and underneath there I can put my rotary cutter or my scissors I can hang there and I can find something to use for that but I thought this would be nice because I'm trying to fix my sewing room up make it more organized and tidy so I think this will be suitable to help me do that so definitely I can put all my small snippets and scissors in there and rotary cutter hang in there with my bigger fabric shears underneath there on those little hooks there and I could probably put bobbins here or threads here that I'm using rather than having to keep going into my box to get threads out which can be a bit of a nuisance sometimes all right so I'm gonna put this on the wall um, it screws in so I either do it myself or get my hubby to do it for me and yeah I'll show you what it looks like right so this area is the area where I want to add all of these items on top here into my new cabinet here just to keep this area tidy and then I can use this area for ironing so I'm going to tidy it all down get it in there and I'll show you the progress okay so my surface is now nice and tidy and I've used my new storage cabinet right on the side here next to it and everything is in there so I put all my threads my little irons in there so I can get to them quite easily on the top I've stored my little sewing machine my gloves for coating and all my little tools in here as well so it's easier to grab too and I love it that this is that it has a little snap so you close the magnetic snap so when it closes in it stays so yeah I keep all of my little books down here as well so nice and tidy love that I've put my little hanging box here and I've hang all of my scissors and rotary cutters but keeps it nice and tidy so I'm slowly decorating my slow sewing room but yeah this has come together nicely so I love that that's just so nice and easy to reach and I've put the threads that I'm going to be using so what I plan to do is whatever threads I'm going to be using for my quilt I'll just store them there so it's easy to reach rather than having to always to go down in there all right so let's move on to the next one my next storage item is my jewelry box here and as much as I have quite a number of items on my dressing table I think this will help to make it a lot more tidy so let's go put them together and see what it looks like all right next to tackle is my storage area here for my dressing table very untidy so I'm going to tidy it all up make it look a bit more nice every time I try to keep it tidy it gets really messy again so hopefully the storage helps look at the difference guys so much more tidy look at that I tell you so let me show you how I've used it so I've put all of my little bits and bobs on top there so easy to reach items any extra bits in there and the drawers come up nice and easy excellent storage items excellent easy to use easy to build and put together look at that look at the difference so pleased with this item all right so I'm going to tidy up my plates they're not stacked properly and I haven't got much room so I'm gonna make some changes with the item I ordered much better <laughs> next item are these storage trays for the fridge I thought this was really great my husband orders or buys a lot of drinks in cans and so I thought this would be ideal just to stack them in twos so you get two trays there and I just really thought this would be helpful to keep the fridge a lot more tidy because when he stacks his drinks in the fridge he just puts it anywhere and I thought this would be really good so I'm gonna open this up Put it in the fridge and show you how I would actually use this. I thought it's a really good idea to keep your fridge neat and tidy.
much more tidy I love that really love that all right then guys all right next is this bathroom caddy let's have a look at it comes with instructions how to use and you get some little sticky tapes that you can actually stick in the wall with the shelving that you can hook this into okay so I'm going to remove the sticky or the covering protective for the sticky tape there and I'm going to put it right opposite on that side there to make sure it hooks on it's not on there yet I've just simply rested there so I can measure the other one across there accurately so it's level and then all right I got five items there so so far so good it's really holding it in strong it's nice and level feels sturdy so impressed with that definitely well done all right this one is for the shaver which is very simplistic as you've seen in the picture so i'm just going to put it up and show you what it looks like so it's double-sided so i've stuck one down so i'm going to peel this one off and i'm going to stick it onto the wall i don't think i can do it with one hand so i've stored my little phone holder here i'm going to show you the other one now all right so i'm just going to put it right there this is really just to help my husband keep things tidy for me and easier to clean and i'm just going to look at that so perfect <laughs> right you can't you can't misplace it now excellent excellent <laughs> so as i said just heat it so you move that obviously take your hair dryer and just literally heat it and it would simply just come off so it comes with two adhesive tapes so i've stuck one on there and it's adhered to on both sides so i'm just gonna stick it down and i'm gonna peel it off let me make sure this one is already down i would say give it a good press just to make sure it's on there properly and if you got long nails just peel it back and it's the other one with the phone in that I showed you a minute ago is the same sort of procedure. You get the sticky tape at the back and you just stick it on. All right, so just putting it on there now and pressing it on just to make sure it's on there properly. Okay, let's put it to the test. I'm just going to put my other phone in. Perfect. So now they're out the way. And I can even put my glasses in there as well. Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> ah, yes, excellent. Alright guys, so this brings us to the end of our video today. So don't forget to use my code DKS997 to save loads of money. Free shipping, free returns up to 90 days for Timu. And you can definitely download the app for more discounts. So do shop and enjoy. Use all of my codes and get everything that I have. Bye for now and I'll see you in the next one.